Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about What you will learn, read and write integers, and compare and order integers. So let's start. What is an integer? An integer is any number from the set. Ellipses negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 ellipses. So those are an integer. So let's talk about positive integers. So these are numbers on the right of 0. So these are numbers greater than 0. So written with or without the positive sign. So, value increases as numbers move farther from 0. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So, those are positive integers. So, how about negative integers? So, these are numbers on the left of 0. So, these are numbers less than zero so written with a negative sign value decreases as numbers move farther from zero example negative four negative three negative two negative one so those are negative integers So now, we compare a positive and a negative integers. So that is in between 0. So think of this. The positive and negative are symbols used to indicate addition and subtraction. But in number line, they indicate the direction of a point from the zero point, not as operation to be performed. In the number line, Positive and negative are used as signs of directions, thus, so that is read as positive 2, not plus 2. So, dapat alam natin yung difference between the operation and the sign. So, that is read as negative 2, not minus 2. Again, that is used as a symbol, the positive and the negative sign. But in positive sign, pwede na natin hindi siya lagyan ng plus na symbol. So how about a number line? A number line is a line drawn starting from zero and which extends to both sides without ends. This means that there are infinitely many numbers on both sides from the origin of the number line. So, let's have here a number line. So, mapapansin yung nasa gitna, which is zero, that is the origin, which extends in both sides. So, that is neither positive nor negative. So, hindi natin masabi na ang zero ay positive or negative. Siya ay nasa gitna. Mapapansin yung numbers or integers to the left Simula sa zero, yun yung negative numbers. Yun naman ang papunta sa kanan na nag extend yun naman yung positive numbers. So, from zero, kapag lumalayo yung negative numbers, mas lumiliit yung value. Sa positive naman, habang lumalayo sa zero, lumalaki naman yung value. So, that's the difference between a negative integer to a positive integer. So, take note, 
Number line can also be drawn like this to show larger numbers. So there are instances na meron tayong example which are large integers. So paano natin siya ipapakita using number line? So we can make use of a larger numbers. But make sure the positive and the negative integers must be balanced in a way na kailangan parehas yung kanilang uh, distance with regards sa numbers. So, we can have uh, counting numbers by 2, pwede natin siya by 2s or by 10s, etc. So, how can we represent an integers? In real life, so there are situations where you can represent integers. So, let's have a situation. Weight loss of 28 kilograms. So, in integer, that is negative 28. Increase of 500 pesos allowance. That is positive 500 or 500. So, it's either nababawasan or nadadagdagan depende doon sa situation na ibinibigay. So, we can connect a positive and negative integers in our real life as stated in our example. So, another, altitude of 1,200 feet. So, that is positive 1,200. Spending 500 pesos. So, that is negative 500. 12 steps backward. So, that is negative 12. And there are several examples wherein pinapakita sa different situations na nagdadagdag ka or nagbabawas ka. So, how do we compare an integers? Or integers? You can always compare integers on the number line. An integer is always less than to the numbers on its right side and greater than to number on its left side. For example, we have here a number line and two points are plotted which are the negative 4 and 0. So how can we compare negative 4 and 0? So we have two possible answers for that. It's either negative 4 is less than 0 or, or 0 is greater than negative 4. So we can make use of the symbols greater than or less than. So we have two possible answers here and both are correct. So kung mapapansin natin, so mas malaki yung nasa right kesa doon sa nasa left. So, kung mapapansin natin, mas malaki yung 0 kesa sa negative 4. So, how about the second example? So, two points are plotted which are negative 6 and 2. So, which is greater? Positive 2. So, we can say that negative 6 is less than 2 or 2 is greater than negative 6. So, that's how we compare an integers. So, ordering integers. You can also arrange integers either in ascending or descending order. In ascending order, integers are arranged from least to greatest. Again, pag sinabi natin ascending, from the least value hanggang sa pinakamataas na value. While in descending order, kabalik tara naman simula pinakamataas na value hanggang pinakamababang value ng integers. It is easier to arrange integers in order by plotting them on the number line. So let's have an example. So let us arrange the integers negative 1, negative 6, 4, 2, 0, 1, sorry, negative 3, and 5 in descending and ascending order. Again, we're going to arrange the sets of integers in ascending and descending order. So, let's start arranging it in ascending order. So, we have negative 6, negative 3, negative 1, 0, 2, 4, and 5. So, how about in descending order? So, babalik ta rin lang natin yung ascending order. So, it will become 5, 4, 2, 0, negative 1, negative 3, negative 6. But we can make use of number line. So, paano natin gagamitin yung number line para lang ma-order, para makuha yung order ng integers? 
So, you just plot all the points in the number line. Kung mapapansin nyo. Kapag ascending, mag-start tayo dun sa unang point, which is yung negative 6 din. Sunod-sunod lang yan hanggang positive 5. Kapag naman descending order, magsisimula tayo sa right papunta sa left, which is positive 5 hanggang negative 6. So, it's optional naman ang paggamit ng number line, pero kapag master nyo ng integers, pwede na kayong hindi gumamit ng number line. So, I hope na nakakasabay kayo sa ating lesson. So, remember when ordering numbers using the number line, in ascending order, numbers are arranged from left to right. In descending order, numbers are arranged from right to left. Okay, please get your pen and paper because you will be having your activity for today. Again, remember the value of honesty and integrity. So you have three sets of activity to answer and then you re reveal then sa video na to yung answer and you will be checking your own work. So have fun answering and good luck! So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.